Okay, today for our children's message, I've got, I've got a, an illusion in my hand here. Some people call it a magic trick. It's just an optical illusion, really. It teaches a real spiritual truth. I've got three ropes in my hand here. You'll see they're different lengths. I've got a long rope, and I've got a little short rope, and I've got a medium-length rope that's like halfway between them. And these three ropes are going to change the length before your very eyes and then come back to the lengths that they are now. And they're also going to tell us something about different kinds of people all around our world today. The short rope stands for a good person, somebody who's kind and generous, goes out of his way or her way to help others a lot. I tell people, this rope reminds me of my grandmother. She's, she's been in heaven now for a few years, but my grandma was always thinking of others before herself. She was just a real dear, kind soul. And then the, the medium-sized rope, the average rope, is just like the average person, maybe like me or like some of you folks, you know. We, we've done a lot of good things in our life, and then sometimes we, we kind of get bent out of shape and have a bad attitude, and we do some things that aren't right, say some things that aren't right, and we just kind of hope the good will outweigh the bad, and people will remember the good part of us and forget about the bad part. And then, if that's a good person, and this is an average person, what kind of person would this be? Now you can, a bad person, right. The, see, the length of the rope is the, the amount of sin they have in their life. This person must have done something really bad, or maybe a lot of little, whole hundreds of little things bad or something, and it added up to a long rope. Now, now nobody's perfect, right? Even my grandmother, she wasn't perfect. You know, nobody's perfect, but, you know, the... Uh, the length of the rope kind of represents the, the amount of sin that's in their life. Now, as human beings, here's what we do. We have a tendency to line ourselves up against each other, and we look around, and we compare ourselves to others and to see how we're doing, you know. And we see somebody whose rope is a whole lot longer than ours, and we say, oh, wow, look at that guy over there. Look at him. Look what he did. He's a bad person. I've never done any such thing like that because I'm a good person. That's the way we think, see. But the key is, when God looks at us, he doesn't see three kinds of people and all the kinds in between. God only sees two kinds of people. He sees the people who have trusted in his son Jesus to be their savior so their sins can be forgiven, and God sees the people who have not trusted in Jesus. Because when God looks at our list of sins, our ropes, we all look pretty much the same to him. Isn't that something? Look at that. All the ropes are the same length. Whew. Why does God see us like that? Well, it's because compared to God and his holiness and his perfection, he just sees that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, that none of us is righteous, no, not one. He, he sees that we all have things we need to be forgiven of. Now the Let's take a look at these ropes again. Pull this one out. Let's see which rope you get here. Oh, oh look at that come. Look at, whoa. That's a long rope. I thought they were all three medium sized here a second ago, right? Okay, pull that rope out. See what you get. Oh, there's a medium sized rope. What do you think this one's going to be? And there's the small rope again. The point is, like I was alluding to a minute ago, whether we've got a little bit of sin in our life or a lot, we all need God's forgiveness. Without holiness, no one will see God, and we need to have our sins forgiven by him so we can have eternal life in heaven. It doesn't matter whether we're a good person, an average person, or a person with a lot of crimes and sins that we've committed. We all need God's forgiveness. Let's have a word of prayer, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we, thanks, we thank you again for this simple illustration with this uh, rope illusion. Lord, we pray that you might forgive us of our sins and trespasses, whether they be many or whether they be few. Lord, help us to live properly and rightly before you. Lord, we ask that uh, as we receive your forgiveness, we would revel in it and become better Christians. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.